you know, we run into this situation where um, somebody uh, uh, breaks into your house. Somebody, you, you, uh, uh, and, and begins to brutalize you and beat you up and do things like that. And then uh, as in responding to breaking your house, brutalizing you, taking everything you got, I would say, well, your mama used to beat you too, right? And so therefore, because since your mama used to beat you uh, and you got a whole entire different relationship, and plus your mama didn't do it uh, under normal circumstances, but punished you, you got a whole entirely different relationship with her than you do with these foreigners who treat you like who you become the other two. And your existence is, is just for the purpose of the whole people. You function only to uh, provide a value significance uh, to another group of foreign and alien forces and powers. That's what the existence of Black people in the whole world is about. You look at things, even the so-called Olympics, and people you know, talk about uh, 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 this, this child, uh, Biles, and, and uh, oh, you know, her, and oh, everybody now, you know, they got mental problems, and hell, what the hell are you talking about? Even getting anywhere, Osaka, Biles, and what have you, as a colonized young person who that colonialism means rape, violence happening to you all the time. You don't have to be uh, somebody who's in the Olympics for that to happen to. Yes, she's suffering and she's not that, like the other white girls who are there. And despite the fact that the white girls may have problems too because you can live in a system that bases itself on rape and pillage even as a colonizer without getting some rape and pillage uh, you know, done to you too. But the, the weight that this, this young woman, and she has no country to, that's, to, that she's waging uh, this struggle for. So there's supposed to be, the, what, as somebody was telling me about the Greek, the freak, uh, uh, this uh, so-called Greek basketball player, 6'11", that's a, extraordinary, miraculous, uh, that plays for Greece. Uh, you, uh, you look at the, uh, look at the performance and you see all these African people, that's supposed to be a Greek. You know, it's an African. And you see uh, uh, in Germany, France, uh, uh, the United States, all these Africans don't even have identities of our own. And we go into this thing and where bananas get thrown at us and all kinds of other stuff on, uh, as a normal part of the process. And they love us and adopt us for using us in situations like this. We don't have our own country that we are fighting for. There's no African in the Olympics that's fighting for our own country. They might call themselves Nigerians. They might call themselves French or they may call themselves African-Americans and the rest of it, but we, uh, we, we don't have that kind of foundation that would give us the kind of strength and, and mental and, and psychological uh, clarity and strength that we need. So just think of what we do without that. Just think of our performance, but it's like gladiators. You know, like the Rome, they capture you and they throw you out and you perform for them. So we dribble basketballs better than most people. We can jump and throw hoops and sing and dance, et cetera. And, and all of those, uh, that, uh, that's the parameters within which we are allowed to function because we serve them. But we can't be Africans, we can't be Africans and we can't serve ourselves. I, I'm not quite sure where I was going with that or where, what started that discussion, but uh, uh, it's, it's a critical thing for us to, uh, to lead around. And the African People's Socialist Party uh, is the organization that's driving you know, this ideological clarity uh, as, a, as a means to which we uh, have to uh, achieve uh, total liberation uh, for the African nation, Uhuru.